Hello stormwater designers and welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions hydrology education videos and today we're going to be going over the SCS runoff method. Uh, in this video all the pertinent equations and everything you're going to need to run some sample problems with the SCS runoff method. We're going to go over all of that here in this video. So the rational method is one of the most commonly used stormwater methods for determining peak runoff based on a project site. We already covered that method um, on this channel so you can find videos on the rational method. However, there are many other methods that have been used to also determine site runoff. One of these methods is called the SCS runoff method. The SCS runoff method utilizes a variety of curve numbers to determine runoff based on the soil type and rainfall event on your project site. And we'll go over the curve numbers here later in the video. When it rains, the water must go somewhere. The SCS runoff method can be used to determine volume and size detention slash retention facilities for storage. We also have videos going over what detention and retention facilities are for stormwater design. So here's an overview of the SCS runoff method. So it's another way to measure site runoff. It includes variables such as rainfall, retention, and abstraction. And earlier we discussed the rational method, which is in the form of Q equals CIA. This equation is going to involve precipitation, retention, abstraction, rainfall. Basically, we use curve numbers that are based off hydraulic, uh, hydrologic soil, land use, and conditions, and is a single event hydrology method. So what are the variables included? S equals maximum retention after runoff begins in inches. P equals the rainfall in inches. Q equals the runoff depth in inches. And I sub A is going to be the initial abstraction of water into the soil when it falls on the project area. So what are the equations a part of the SES empirical method? The first equation is Q equals P minus 0.2 S squared over P plus 0.8 S. The second equation is S equals 1000 divided by the curve number minus 10. The third equation is I equals 0.2 S. The fourth equation equals Q equals P minus I squared divided by P minus I plus S. So those are the equations at our disposal. Let's go over a few sample problems here, but first we're gonna cover curve numbers. These are the SES curve numbers for different land use types. So you can see the cover type, description, and the curve numbers for the hydrologic soil group sorted by A, B, C, and D. Curve numbers are divided by soil group and land use types, and higher curve numbers indicate usually more runoff. So for a pasture grassland or range continuous forage for grazing, if you had poor, less than 50% ground cover or heavily grazed of a type A soil, the curve number would be 68. In comparison, a wood grass combination of good soil, type A, would only have a curve number of 32. So that poor soil would generate more runoff than the good wood soil. Let's get into our runoff problem number one. A basin with a curve number of 75 has precipitation of six inches. Determine the runoff from the site using the SES runoff equations. So first our process is list the given variables, determine variables that need to be found, and apply the proper equations. So here we have S equals 1000 divided by the curve number minus 10. Remember the curve number was 75. So 1000 divided by 75 minus 10 equals 3.33. Then we can use the other equation. This is the Q equals P minus 0.2 S squared divided by P plus 0.8 S. So Q equals six minus 0.2 times 3.33 squared divided by six plus 0.8 times 3.33. So it's going to be 3.2 inches, 28 inches is our runoff depth. Let's get into another problem here. Find the precipitation of a basin that consists of group B, poor meadow grass, and 1.5 inches of runoff. So we're gonna follow the same process, list the given variables, determine variables that need to be found, and apply the proper equations. So let's remember our curve number chart here. So let's go back. We said B, group B, poor meadow grass. So for group B, poor meadow grass, we're going to have to look at where meadows is, meadow continuous grass, poor, group B. It looks like it's going to be a curve number of 67. So we're going 1000 divided by 67 minus 10 equals 4.93 for S. We also need to find the initial abstraction. So 0 0.2 times 4.93 equals 0 0.986. Then we can use that equation, 1.5 equals P minus 0 0.986 squared divided by P minus 0 0.986 plus 4.93. And if we solve the quadratic equation, we find that P equals 4.56 inches of precipitation. So the SES runoff method is a system that turns runoff into rainfall, and it's an empirical system using those equations. If you're curious about the different forms of hydrology, such as continuous simulation, which is what our stormwater model does, single event hydrology, which is what the SES runoff method is, 
In comparison to some other methods, you can download our ultimate hydrology guide in the description box for free if you want an overview of those methods. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and anyways, we will see you guys next time in another video.